Dear student, Assalamu alaikum. I hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Dear student, I am Muhammad Shah Jahan, Assistant Professor, Department of Accounting, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. Dear student, this is our third lecture on Chapter 2. And all of you know that in this chapter we discuss about journal. Dear student, after this lecture you can able to give journal entries. You can prepare purchase return journal. You can prepare sales return journal. Dear student, let's come to our today's lecture. Dear student, some transaction of Namia Pharmacy in July 2017 are as follows. That means we have taken some transaction from Namia Pharmacy and look at the requirement is journal, purchase return journal, sales return journal. Dear student, at first we have to give journal. Let's come to the class. At first we have to the give journal for January 1 and January 10. If you can remember, this is the format of journal. This is the format of journal. At first, you have to write the date, then account head, then debit taka, then credit taka. Let's see the first transaction. Dear student, 30,000 paid for new trade license fees. That means this organization uh, take a trade license from the government. So the trade license fees is 30,000 taka. That means their cash money decreases. If you, you know that if cash money decreases, then cash account credited. Look at cash account, credit, cash account, credit and trade license fees. This is debit. This is debit. Trade license fees is an expenses. Every year he has to pay. So trade license fees, expense account debit and cash account credited. Then January 10, look at the transaction. Uh, computer with Taka 40,000 bought for keeping accounts for business. That means you purchase computer. If you purchase computer, then what will happen? Computer is an asset. It is called office equipment. So office equipment will increase. So asset will increase. Asset account will be debited. On the other hand, your cash money will decrease. So cash account will be credited. Look at office account, equipment account debit and cash account is credit. So dear student, I hope you understand. Last class in details, we have discussed how to prepare debit and credit, how to do journal. Yes, here also in requirement A, it is journal. Today's main topics today, we will do, that is, uh, we have to prepare purchase return journal and we have to prepare sales return journal. How to prepare purchase journal and sales journal, that also I will discuss here a little bit. Dear student, purchase return journal. You know that if we purchase on credit, that is, we record in purchase journal and if any goods return from purchase, that will be recorded in purchase return journal. Let's see the box at first. That means format at first. Purchase return journal. Dear student, for purchase return journal, at first you have to write date, then account debited, account debited, and debit note, then source. And here you have to write creditor account debit, purchase account credit. Dear student, if it is purchase journal, what will happen? Date account debited instead of debited it will be account credited it will be account credited then debit note number then source then invoice then here credit purchase account debit creditor account credit purchase account debit creditor account credit instead of purchase you can you creditor you can write accounts payable if you can write accounts payable in modern accounting it is called accounts payable so dear student in purchase return journal and in purchase journal just only Difference is the journal, this journal. That means when it is purchase, that time purchase account debit, creditor account credit. If it is purchase return, creditor account debit, purchase return account credit. Dear student, now let's see the question. Look at purchase return. Purchase 20 carton defective medicine of Taka 500 per carton return to Shadana Pharmacy debit note number triple one. That means we have purchased 20 carton defective medicine. That means Amra, we have purchased 20 carton defective medicine and uh, 500 carton return to Shadana Pharmacy because um, we have purchased 20 carton. Uh, earlier we have purchased and out of that 20 carton are defective and we have returned it to Sadhana Pharmacy and the price is 500 per carton. So dear student, uh, keep it in your mind. What is the amount of discount here? There is no purchased hmm, per carton return to Sadhana Pharmacy. Look at 10% discount, 10% discount. Dear student, purchase price 200 carton per carton 500. That means 10,000 and the 
amount of discount is 10 percent so it is 1000 minus the amount is 9000 just you will write 9000 look at the solution at first you from whom you purchase at first you will write date then from whom you have purchased sadhana pharmacy debit note number it is given and amount is 9000 so in this math very easy just you have to draw the format then calculation this calculation how you calculate at first you will write the find the purchase price simple if you purchase a pen by taka 5 if you buy 5 pen 5 into 5 that means 25 taka it is simple logic and here also you purchase 20 carton at the rate of 500 is so 20 into 500 it is 10,000 taka price and 10 percent is discount so it is 9,000 taka discount so amount of disc uh, money is 9,000 return money then dear student next transaction for purchase return look at july 20 500 bags line taka 120 not being in accordance with order return to priyanti pharma that means priyanti pharma supplies us some saline bag but 500 bag are not as per sample that means how we would like to get the goods they are not sending that goods same way that's why we would like to return 500 bags saline and the price is 120 per packet per bag and dear student discount is five percent so keep it in your mind discount is here five hundred five percent so look at the solution priyanti pharma purchase price 500 into 120 that means sixty thousand is your purchase price and your discount is five percent how many percent five percent so sixty thousand into five percent sixty thousand into five divided by hundred then it is five percent it is three thousand dear student now what is the amount sixty thousand minus three thousand equals to fifty seven thousand this is your um, below of return goods so 57000 then just total it 9000 plus 57000 66000 so this is purchase return journal very easy to get four marks just simple two simple calculation and write the name of organization here and the amount here and the box so dear student i hope you can then our next one is sales return journal box is almost same date account credited credit note number source and sales account debit debtor account credit sales return account debit debtor account credit dear student if it is sales journal what will happen just instead of account credited you will write account debited and here debtor account debit sales account credit just opposite one if it is sales journal just opposite one if it's sales return journal just this one then calculation also as like as previous one look at here we have to show the calculation here you have to show the calculation and here write to whom you return goods to, to, to from whom you get the goods you return back the goods from whom you return back the goods look at the question let's see 15 look at 100 packet expired vitamin capsule of taka 300 per packet returned from sandana medicare that means earlier you supply goods to sandana medicare now they have returned 100 packet because date expired because date expired and each packet value is 300 and look at discount is 5 percent discount is 5 percent let's see the solution very easy one look at sandana medicare sales price 100 into 300 that means 30000 and discount is 5% that means 5% means 1500 how 30000 into 5 divided by 100 1500 uh, 1500 so therefore 30000 minus 1500 the price is 28500 28500 on the other hand another sales return look at another 30 sold goods to niramoy drugs with taka 25000 at 10% discount that means this is return for poor quality that means we have supplied goods which is the thing that this is poor quality they would not like to receive they returned it so dear student i have returned goods for 25000 and discount was 10 percent look at niramoy drug sales price 25000 it is given directly then 10 percent discount it is 2500 so they will use 22500 look at 22500 that means in sales return journal or sales journal calculation process box almost same just there are little change it is sales journal account debited journal will be opposite one and the calculation is very simple i hope dear student all of you understand purchase return sales return or purchase journal sales journal very important this topics is for exam because 10 marks question will be from this topics first prepare purchase return journal prepare sales return journal or purchase journal or sales journal dear student if you have any confusion inshallah later on you will discuss with me i will help you to solve it thank you very much May Allah 
help all of us stay home stay safe allah face